the day started out warm. The trees were full of colour, and the sky blue as the berries on the shore. In the land of Aquantus, there lived two turtles that resided on two different sides of the lake. Each turtle had a son, and two very different parenting styles. Wise William, the first of the two turtles, was very intelligent and realised the importance of teaching his son the turtle culture. Slave Steve, second of the two turtles, was sluggish and too lazy to teach his son. He was not the sharpest knife in the drawer, and most definitely not the fastest turtle in the lake. Willie, the son of William, wants to grow up to be just like his father. It is another wonderful morning. William and Willie are sitting peacefully on a log. William knows that his son is old enough to live on his own. He must teach his son all the ways of the turtle. I'm getting older, muttered William. It's your turn to learn what our ancestors have taught me. Luckily, William's first teaching opportunity arises almost immediately. Out of nowhere, William and his son see a large log of plastic recklessly moving towards them. Atop the large plastic log, gigantic animals chatter loudly and carelessly, disturbing the peace. Lesson number one. A turtle must be quiet, whispers William to his son. The large log floats onward towards their log. He whispers again. Those beings on that plastic log, they may be incredibly dangerous. Lesson number two. A turtle must be cautious. Don't let any animal get close to you. If you're noticed, jump into the lake. The plastic log still does not change its course, and consequently, William and his son descend to the safety of the water. Sam, the son of Steve, also wanted to grow up to be just like his father, but his father left him to learn on his own. In the afternoon of that day, the same large log that disturbed William and Willie came to the opposite side of the lake. Steve was slouched on his log, snoozing, while Sam sat rejected on his own log a hundred meters away. The large, intimidating log approached Sam's small log. It came closer and closer. Steve woke to the racket coming from the log but fell back into his slumber. Sam, now on his own, was paralyzed with fright. Unsure of what to do, he waited for the floating plastic to come close to him. The large animals came close to him with flashing black boxes and tried to pick him up. They humiliated him by poking at him and flashing bright lights at him, and they eventually left him. He was still upset, but luckily unharmed. He may not be so lucky next time. It has been one day since the incident with the large plastic log and the intimidating black box wielding animals. Willie is with his father swimming. Both turtles are very hungry because neither has eaten for several hours. Dad, I'm hungry, says Willie. William speaks to his son. It's time for you to catch a fish on your own. You mustn't waste your energy chasing the first fish that you see. Lesson number three, a turtle must be patient find a fish that is slower than the others. Willie, trusting his father, does what he is told and catches a slow fish. That same day, Sam struggles to swim next to his father. Dad, I'm hungry. Sam cried, to which Steve replied, Eh, go catch a fish. Sam did what his father suggested. He started out on his own and chased the first fish that came into sight. He swam and swam after that fish, but the fish was reluctant to give up. Sam was forced to give up his hunt empty flippered. He instead watched what the fish ate and followed their example. Yet again, Sam was forced to eat seaweed and algae to satisfy his hunger. If only my father would teach me, he muttered. The next few days have become cold and crisp. The winds and waves of Aquantis are becoming icy with the breath of the north. 
William and Willie are together again. William hears in the wind and feels the coolness of the water and tells Willie about what is to come. Our ancestors named this time of year the season of sleeping. Frozen water will fall from the sky and our lakes will freeze. Lesson number four, a turtle must hibernate. Come, follow me. Together, Willie and William swim to the bottom of the lake and immerse themselves in the mud to prepare for the fierce winter to come. A few more days have passed. As the days became increasingly frigid, Sam could not find his father or any other turtle. It seemed as if he were alone. He was very much alone indeed. He shared the lake with the silent, somber sky of grey and the lonely, leafless trees of land. In fact, he was the only turtle in the lake that had not yet gone into hibernation. Having not been warned or taught by his father, he was utterly clueless and oblivious as to what he must do. The days creeped in briskly, 